So for um, number six, we're given a bunch of points that represent uh, a force function um, where x is measured in meters and f of x is in newtons. So this means that uh, the further that we go along, the force is changing. It's not a constant force. So it begins small, it gets bigger, and then gets smaller again. And um, it wants us to use the midpoint rule to estimate the work done uh, from moving the object from 4 meters to 20 meters. So we have to remember that work is equal to force times distance. But the problem here is that we're only given force in these little discrete values. We don't have a continuous force. We aren't given that data, right? And so what we could do, we could have done, is we, we take each of these values and then we just say, okay, that uh, whatever force, it was applied for two meters, and that's uh, that's the force was in this interval. And then this force here is applied for two meters, and that was the force in this interval. This force here is applied for two meters, and so on and so forth. Um, but this is not the midpoint rule. The midpoint rule, it tells us to take the midpoint of an interval. So the first midpoint that we're going to find is this one right here because it's in the middle of this interval from 4 to 8. And then it tells us, hey, take the height of this midpoint and extend it out throughout this interval. So let's see what this one is going to be. Remember that work is force times distance, right? Well, this distance here, it goes from 4 to 8. So it is a distance of 4 times... What is the force here? Well, it is the force at the point 6, right? And so the force at the point 6 is 5.8. So we say 4 times um, four times 5.8. And that is the work done in this little chunk using the midpoint rule. Now let's go to the next chunk. We're going to take this midpoint here at 10, this midpoint here, and then we're going to extend the value, which is at 8.8. .8. We're going to extend it over this interval. And so uh, work is force times distance, right? So the distance here is still 4 because it goes from 8 to 12. So it's 4 times the height here, which is the force, is going to be 8.8. .8. Um, for, the next, for the next interval, we're going to take this midpoint here and extend it out. And this is the midpoint evaluated at 14, so it's going to be this one here. And once more, um, force it's going to be force times distance, so the distance goes from 12 to 16, so that's a distance of 4. And the force is going to be this one at the midpoint of 14, which is 8.2. And lastly, um, we're going to have this last midpoint here, which we extend out, and it's going to be the midpoint at 18. And so force times distance, our distance goes from 16 to 20, so that's a distance of 4, and the height, the force, is going to be evaluated at 18, so it's going to be 5.2 newtons. Okay, so um, we're, we have estimated this total work using these chunks, so we can say that the work is going to be equal to um, 4 times 5 point actually i'm going to i'm going to put units here so it's going to be 4 meters times uh times 5.8 newtons plus 4 meters times 8.8 .8 newtons uh plus 4 meters times 8.2 newtons and then plus let's see 4 meters times 5.2 newtons and so let me put this in my calculator. Let me see what that gives me. 8.8 uh, .8 .8 plus 8.2 plus 5.2 and then this times 4. And so this is going to give us 112 joules. And so all we did here was we estimated um, the total work by taking these midpoints, right? So the height of each midpoint it gets extended out for an interval of 4. And so we just did four t force times distance over these um, intervals and calculated the total work.